Hello and welcome back to the Fat Fish Guitar Studio where today we're going to be doing a review of the Hot Rails for Tele pickups from Seymour Duncan. Seymour Duncan have got quite a reputation as being one of the main designers, builders of um, replacement pickups. I mean, you do find them as standard equipment on some guitars, but I think the main market is as uh, replacement parts for you know people who want to upgrade pickups on the, on the guitars, of people who are building you know new custom instruments and using them as, as standard parts. Now these pickups we're going to be taking a look at, a, a look at, and a listen to today are hot rails. They're quite high output uh, humbugging pickups but they're, they're designed to retrofit into a single coil sized uh, slot so they're standard Telecaster sized pickups but if you look at them closely you can see two things can kind of catch your eye firstly there's no pole pieces in the traditional sense what you see are these blade style um, magnets and the idea of that is that you get an even sort of magnetic field right the way across all six strings. So if you're, you know, you're bending strings or whatever, the strings not moving between one pole piece and another, you've got a very even magnetic field. And also, as you can see, the, this, what you've got is two side-by-side -side coils. The coils are quite narrow, but because these are humbuckers, you need two coils, and the coils cancel out the hum. This is the main reason a lot of people take standard single coil pickups out of the guitars and replace them with uh, humbuckers is not so much to change the sound um, but it's to get rid of the sort of um, electrical home and whatnot that particularly plagues single coil pickups. It's kind of the price you pay. Single coil pickups have a nice bright sort of sound but they are quite susceptible to home. Humbuckers on the other hand you lose some of the home but the sound changes you get something a little bit fatter and a little bit warmer. One of the key selling points of the Hot Rails pickups is the high output. Uh, so they're designed to have a more powerful signal coming out of the guitar so it helps to drive the amp a little bit more. But don't let you let that fool you into thinking it's just a it's just a pickup for playing heavy rock with. It's not. These these pickups do have a very nice very nice clean sound. So this is straight into the Blackstar HT5R amp, which I regularly use, all the EQ is flat. There's a little bit of reverb, but no other effects in the in the chain. So what you're hearing here is pretty much the sound, just of the pickups on their own. As you can hear, quite a nice, warm, sort of humbucking type sound. This is the the bridge pickup just on its own. Ah, and both pickups together. So, like I say, for all the high output pickups, you can put them into the clean channel on the amp, and the sound, you know perfectly nice and clean. These are designed as replacement pickups for a Telecaster style guitar but Seymour Duncan also do hot rails for Strat which are a direct replacement for uh, Stratocaster pickups so you can get the, the twin coil humbucking type pickup without having to do any extra routing or changing scratch plates or whatever they'll, they'll retrofit directly into a Strat. Now here in the, in the, in the Telecaster style guitar 
the the sound it's not typical Telecaster. Um, it's still got that a little bit of that characteristic, but the I think the big difference you get with the, the hot rails is they're quite warm because they're a humbucker, um, but they're very heavy on the on the mid range sort of um, sort of frequency. So you lose some of that really characteristic high end twang that you get uh, typically in a Telecaster. So you know, like on the neck pickup here. You've still got some tele characteristics, but the the warmth and the mid range characteristics of the of the, the hot rails do kind of um, bring an awful lot into the sound. So let's hear what the sound like on the dirty channel of the amp. So this is the bridge pickup on its own. I think these pickups were designed really to sound at the best on a dirty channel, on an overdriven, uh, overdriven sound. Uh, and that high output that I mentioned, uh, it helps to drive the drive the amp a little bit more. But with a good set of pots on the guitar, you can just roll off the volume. And it cleans the sound up quite nicely. So these pickups are a lot more versatile um, than you might think. So if you've got a, a Telecaster and you look at to upgrade the sound, get something for more sort of general classic rock type of tones, these pickups are well worth checking out. I also know um, some guys are using them in like more almost hard rock metal type of uh, sounds. They work really, really well for that as well. Now these pickups are available as matched sets or you can buy them individually if you want to mix and match. Uh, I know the hot rails for Tele Neck works quite well with the Little 59 bridge and I've also seen some Strat users who want like a, an HSS type of sound but don't want to be changing the, the visual look of the instrument too much. Um, putting a hot rails uh, pickup into the bridge on a Stratocaster, that works really really well. standard with a four conductor cable so these pickups here I've got them wired just to standard humbuckers into a three-way switch but because you've got the four core uh, cable you can do things like um, coil splitting um, series parallel wiring and all that sort of thing interestingly when I got these the original neck pickup that I got um, was faulty only one of the coils was working so I was getting the sound basically of the coil split uh, pick up and it did sound quite good. Not the sound I particularly wanted, but it did kind of tell me that these will work really well as coil splits. So it's always something to, to, to bear in mind. You know, the idea of fitting the like push pull pots or uh, little coil split switches if you want a bit more uh, versatility in your sound.
this guitar that I'm using them in uh, here, this is a guitar that I built myself um, well, a couple of years ago now. It's a ash body thin line telly. So you know, if you believe that the timber that the guitar is made of um, influences the sound in some way, then yeah, consider that there's a there's an ash kind of sound going on here. If you don't believe that, then leave it. It's the sound of the the pickups on the road coming out of the guitar. As well, the the player has quite an influence as well. So it's not just purely the hardware. It's the way you know. The, you hold the pick, the way you fret the strings, the way you pick the strings, it all influences your sound. So really what you're hearing here is the sound of me playing this guitar with some hot rail pickups in. If you try them, you'll sound like you playing your guitar with hot rail pickups in. So bear that in mind, you're not going to get a carbon copy of the sound that I've got. But hopefully what this video is giving you uh, an impression of is the, the general sort of sound of the, the hot rails. Uh, compared to a sort of sort of sound you might expect to get out of a, a standard Telecaster. So in terms of an overall verdict, I really like the pickups, they're a lot more versatile than you might think and certainly if I was building this guitar again, um, yeah I'd be looking to put hot rails in. There's nothing about these which would make me think, no I don't like them, I'd want to change them for something else. Um, if I was building another guitar or had a Strat or something, I was looking to change the pickups on, yeah I think it would be interesting to see how these, uh, how these work in a Strat uh, type of uh, setup for me as well. So yeah, overall really do like them and I would recommend you try them out for yourself if you're looking to change the sound of your guitar for something a bit more higher output, classic rock sort of tones, the Hot Rails pickups from Seymour Duncan are well worth considering. already subscribed to the Fatfish Guitar Studio channel on YouTube then thank you very much for your support. If you're not then please do click on subscribe button down wherever it is uh, so you can see any future videos that I post. As always if you've got any questions or suggestions for other videos then please follow that link there and you can post your question. That's all for now, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in another video next time. Bye for now.